self-destruction centers itself around the concept of making stuff dead by means of fire, pain, and crippling your opponents. Drain Attribute. These spells will reduce the specified attribute for the duration of the spell. The magnitude of the spell determines how much the chosen stat is reduced. I'll give you more information on this with the damage spells. Now, as well as lowering an attribute, you may also drain a target's fatigue, health, and magicka. Once the spell expires, targets left alive will regain any stats lost, so be quick. Drain skill. As well as draining an attribute, you can also directly drain a skill. Consider an Axeman, with no axe skill. It's not very scary at all. Your bones will be my dinner. No, no, I don't think so. Damage Attribute. These spells work the same way as Drain, except the effects are permanent. This, however, makes the spells much more costlier than Drain as a result. The duration where damage spells are concerned actually means the spell will do the set amount of damage every second for the duration of the spell. So when you come to making spells, take note that it's usually cheaper to cast a spell that does 10 damage for 2 seconds than a spell that does 20 damage for 1. When used properly, damage attribute spells are a great way of crippling an opponent. Damage personality. It's kind of pointless if you just want to set them on fire. Damage endurance. You can reduce the stamina restoration to the tire quicker. Damage luck. Will affect everything they do in a small way. Damage speed. Can greatly slow a target down. Damage willpower will make it very difficult for an enemy spellcaster to successfully cast spells. Damage Intelligence will, in turn, reduce the target's magicka, so they can't cast spells even if they wanted to. Damage Agility. This can really stiff a melee opponent, since agility affects a chance to hit and dodge. Damage Strength is almost comical when successful, as, in turn, it reduces the amount a target can carry meaning you can over-encumber them. Permanently. Damage spells do also cover fatigue, health and magicka. Now, I'm going to need a volunteer. Anyone? Anyone? You, sir. You good, sir. Step right up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can't, can you? Okay. I'm going to make a point about drain, absorb and damage health spells here. Okay, because it's non-elemental, but still magical damage, which means the target is going to rely solely on magical resistance to defend against it. Disintegrate Weapon. This will damage a target's weapon. If the weapon's health reaches zero, it will break and be unquipped. The magnitude of the spell determines how much damage is done every second for the duration of the spell. Many weapons have points in the thousands, however, so this spell may be expensive. Disintegrate Armour. This works the same way as Disintegrate Weapon, only it affects armours, and in a specific order. First to break will be shields, then the cuirass, left shoulder, right shoulder, left glove, right glove, hat, pants, then boots. Armour generally has less points than weapons, meaning this spell can work out cheaper and more effective than Disintegrate Weapon. Oh, let's have his weapon as well. Oh, bless. He's got no shoes. Peasants and moss. Come. Elemental damage. This includes fire damage. Frost damage. Shock damage. And poison. Now, as cool as it sounds, poison is one of the least useful elements, as a lot of things are just simply born with poison immunity. Also, it costs a bomb to cast. Shock damage is far more useful, but still rather expensive. Your cheapest option is to wisely cycle between fire and frost damage. Weakness to elements. These spells will reduce the target's resistance to the specified element, so they take more damage from it. At 100% weakness to fire, a fire damage spell would do twice the original damage. A nice spell setup would be, say, fire damage 30 points for 5 seconds, and weakness to fire 100% for 1. Weakness to magicka. 
reduces the target's resistance to magicka. This spell will not increase the damage dealt by elemental spells, but instead it increases the effectiveness of all your other crippling spells like damage strength and weakness to fire, etc. Since damage drain and absorb health are non-elemental, the effects of these are improved with weakness to magicka. Weakness to common disease. This will reduce a target's resistance to disease. Since no creatures can actually catch diseases, however, this spell is only useful if you wish to contract specific diseases after developing an immunity.